Hi, it's day 337. Uh, I'm into my last month of my first year here. I thought I'd go for the full tow hill experience and I'm trying my hand at a little couch surfing. I'm house sitting for author Susan Musgrave on the grid with hot water, uh, but still right in the heart of tow town. And uh, this week I uh, managed to fold my board in the waves and uh, drive my Subaru into a ditch. I uh, just need to uh, have my place burned down and for my lady to leave me for another lady and I'd have the makings of a good tow hill billy song. Uh, but as promised, I've got an interview with uh, a couple, Dan and Carrie, uh, who I think are a prime example of uh, people who came here uh, with very little, uh, little knowledge, little resources, got a raw piece of land and have since made very good with an enviable lifestyle. So uh, here's Dan. My partner and I pulled up in our 74 Vida bus and uh, started carving our way into this clear cut here. Um, this cabinet you see here initially was um, essentially a, a plastic uh, mushroom picker style building. We spent our first winter in there, it was a little bit tough, but uh, by the next summer we had a roof and walls and whatnot, and now it's evolved into the cozy little place that it is. Due to its uh, low cost and design, we've been living in this cabin debt free for many, many years. It's built right on the ground, there's no foundation, but uh, there's good drainage through the sand and it helps keep the place warm. It's got a fairly simple design, but it's everything you need to really be comfortable. I think if there's people that are interested in taking the leap to uh, try, try to build something of their own, but maybe they don't have a lot of financial resources, um, my advice would be to just, just get something started and um, understand and accept that Maybe you're going to have to change your lifestyle a little bit for a while. Um, and I wouldn't use the term suffer, but perhaps be a little bit more modest in, uh, in your expectations. Expect something a little bit different from what you grew up in. But um, at the same time, I think there's a lot of rewards that come from and, and a sense of fun and adventure that can come from uh, doing things a little bit differently. Once you get past that first stage, you're really well on your way to being more self-sufficient. And uh, it doesn't take too long to feel the joys of being out of the rent cycle. A few years of uh, keeping it simple can result in, in some uh, benefits down the road. So that was Dan of Dan and Kerry. And if you're ever in the Massad area, I highly recommend you visit their cafe in town, The Ground. I think it'll go the Pepsi challenge with just about any cafe you have back in the city. Have a great week and I'll talk to you next Tuesday. Thanks.